but today I'm playing Dwarf Fortress. It's the most complicated game ever made. I already have a fortress set up, but uh, I've been playing for a week. Oh, that's really loud. Hold on, let me just sound a little So to give you some tips on how I play Dwarf Fortress, I like to use a lot of auto uh, parts of Dwarf Hack. That way it just doesn't become tedious. Like if you play the vanilla version of this game, it's very tedious. You have to assign the dwarves individual tasks all the time and you have to constantly um, Add new crew, uh, items to the workshops here. Like for example, here's the carpenter's workshop. So normally you'd have to, every time you want to make a shield or a bucket or whatever, you have to manually keep adding it here. <clears throat> so I use auto labor, which it's, it'll come with the. Um, you're new to Dwarf Fortress, you've never played it before, you should pick up the Lazy Noob Pack. And it'll have all the added options and like as far as the graphics, other add-ons like uh, Dwarf Hack. You'll have the add-on sound, all that. Normally the game by itself is just ASCII graphics, so it won't look like this at all. Uh, so here I'll show you how to use the auto labor. When you open up, use Q to open up to inspect um, buildings and then once you're on a workshop you add a new task like let's say construct bed and then you hit alt w it has to be repeating and then you can set the limit with workflow. So if I hit capital R, I'll be able to change the amount here. I have it set to 10 to 20. Let me make it a little bit higher. I already have that. I already have like construct bed up here. So a little bit. That's one thing. It won't let you delete if it's on repeat. So turn that off first. I'll make another video with all the basics of how to uh, play the game, how to set it up, and all that. So this will just be a gameplay video. Got all my animals here right outside of the entrance. I've got a door here. You always want to limit the access to your fortress. So I have a door here, and here is a uh, bridge that I can pull up with uh, the switch over here to block this entrance in case the invasion comes. And I also have it lined with traps here. Let's 
see how it's going down in the depths here. Recently found this cavern system. This is usually when the game starts to get interesting. Once you hit the depths, then a lot stronger monsters will come up here. But I've got here, just like how I have a separation at the first level, the first floor entrance, also at the depths, I make an entrance here where it's hard to get to. I have a bridge here that I can close it off, and then I have a line of traps here. Why do you think I can do this? I'll go back down to the lower level. I'm just entering it. I haven't gone no, 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 no. dug all the way down through this pillar here, so it's not fully connected. You can see these dots here. That's just open space. It's actually pretty... Wow, it's very high up. <laughs> So there's about 10 levels these pillars go up through. I'll show you another system, the macro. So I can hit Control R to record, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it for up downstairs, which is I, then enter. I'll make four of them like that. Finish the recording, and I'll hit Control S to save it. I'll name that stairs. So now if I go down another level, and I just hit Control P, it'll play that back. And I can continue to do that. So I get down to the bottom. There's another way I could do that. Here, I'll do three of them in a row for different levels. So, record. I already got it on the stairs, but I'll hit I again just so it has it for the recording. I'll add four of them, go down a level, add four of them, go down, Add another. I'll have three in a row there. So, and that, and save it. Call it stairs, three deep. Oop, <laughs> that meant two deep. I need to figure out how to delete those, but or so I can load that up and play it back. Let's see, it went three more levels down. See, I didn't really record this right. I should have moved the cursor back so I could just keep hitting the button.
that. Alright, so here's where the cavern floor is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building defenses immediately around that. So there's one main way in. Hmm. Won't let me yet till it's the stairs are built. Interesting. That's cool. Yeah, we've got water deep down. I've had to dig down to get water before. Um, one time I was on a board that had no creek, and so in the middle of winter, my people started running out of water. So I had to dig all the way down until I hit water. Which is usually, yeah, we pass the cavern level. Also down here is where you start to find the good gems and a little deeper you'll find ore. Start building that wall. BCW. And you have to be careful with what you're building. You don't want to use like you want to use the cheap stuff for things like this. Something that's close though. Seal off all these other areas here. This is very important to keep out critters. Actually, a uh, pump helmet. I'm gonna mine that or uh, gather that. <laughs> Don't 
gonna waste it. Alright, so I've got all the uh, possible ways in. You also want to look for like up ramps, which you'll see like here. I'll show you with the pointer. Oops. These little triangles here. If you have one of those within here, then a creature at a different level could just climb down in, and it'll defeat the whole purpose of this. So, next time I build a bridge to block off that hallway there, and a door as well. <laughs> 